Escapism. What is escapism? It is a word. Um, escapism, and I've been doing a lot of research on it, is um, wanting to escape from your daily life. Um, whether that be into addiction, um, into, you know, traveling, into being too far in the future, um, you know, exercise, just wanting to escape your daily life, wanting to escape from the present moment. And there's a reason that our human nature wants to do that. There's a few reasons um, that I've read and you know most of them have to do with fear. Either fear of dealing with a situation, um, something from our past that we haven't dealt with, that we don't want to feel the emotion that we're feeling inside of us, a breakup, um, boredom, you know there are a lot of reasons for escapism. I know in my own past, the way I would escape life in my childhood um, would be partying. You know, I didn't want to deal with the pain of either um, family issues or social friends, just uh, my own emotions that I didn't know how to deal with. I would escape through partying. As an adult, it turned into over-exercising. Um, and it also, you know, um, turned into uh, secluding myself from friends and family um, there are you know and I've done it and now I recognize it and my purpose in this is helping you know whoever watches it to know that it is real there is something called escapism and the best place to be is in the present moment we don't want to be too far in our past but we want to deal with the pain from our past um, so that we can move forward and not have those same kind of emotions. We don't want to be too far in the future because then we're missing what what every day brings and there's such beauty and blessings and gratefulness in each day. We don't want to miss that by you know being too far in the future or making too many plans. Um, and so recognizing it is half of the battle. How do we confront wanting to escape from our lives. We deal with our emotions head on. We sit in the present moment and ask ourselves, why are we feeling this way? And is there anything that we can let go of? Anything that we can forgive? Um, any shame that we feel about ourselves that we can, um, you know, to forgive ourselves, let go of the shame that we hold because shame hold us, holds us back. And I should do something on shame because that's a big one. I mean, I feel like shame holds us back in so many ways in our life, but that's a whole nother video. Anyways, what are some other ways of um, confronting escapism? Confronting and being in the present moment. Um, just focusing on trying to be present and still journaling your emotions. That has been a big one for me. Journaling has been huge. I journal every day. And I feel like it helps me to make sense of some of the things in my mind and some of the things that, um, you know, make me want to escape from reality. Taking a walk or being outside or literally taking yourself on a date. I know it sounds weird, but, you know, be your own best friend because we... I mean, you have to be your own best friend before you can be anything for anybody else. So take a walk, be outside, it's beautiful, um, or it's not, it's cold and dreary. So, you know, take yourself on a date somewhere where you can just quiet your emotions and, um, and organize your thoughts to move forward. Talk to somebody, talk to a spouse, talk to a friend, um, talk to a professional because getting things out, talking about things, asking for help and advice is healthy and helps us to move forward in a healthy, productive way. And just recognizing the that you are wanting to escape your life. Recognizing is half the battle. Focus on being present for yourself, for the people in your family, for your, your loved ones, um, because the present moment is the most important. And there's this quote that I really, really love. Fears we don't face become the limits. And this is true story. Um, so I hope this was helpful um, because you are love and you are loved. Namaste.